How do you create the space for change and transformation? How do you create the space for change and transformation? For some of you, change and transformation isn't even on the menu. Like you don't even know that's really what you're, what you're really about. So I'm gonna also put this question in this way. How do you create the space for deep, meaningful, and contentious conversation to take place amongst people who can actually make a change? Because at the end of the day, if there's anything of importance in change, there's transformation that's involved. You may not use that language, but at the end, but like the number of people that uh, that I have conversations with that come out and they say, wow, I could say this in your space. Oh, well, it's because I'm around you. It's because of the space you've created, Niyama. Um, at this point here, like, look, there's a part of me that, that, that enjoys hearing it because I'm like, okay, there's a power to what, what's being done. But then there's another part that realizes that more, that underneath everything here is that if the difference between speaking a truth that needs to be said that the difference between taking action on an injustice that needs to be uh, that needs to be righted or at least brought to light, or if the difference between allowing yourself to be that much more comfortable as yourself in the world, that much more expressed, seen, and heard in the world, is based on the environment or the space that you've created, then I'm going to pull back the curtain a little bit and let you know about how this, how I create those spaces around me because it's not an accident and it wasn't something that was bestowed upon me. It's something that is, has been consciously crafted and cultivated. And I'll share a bit of this here with you. Um, and then we're going to continue having a conversation with, uh, with, with two individuals, uh, two leaders that uh, I'd love to share this space of change and transformation with. So the first thing here, and I, I think more than anything else, if you just ask yourself that question and choose to be intentional, you've already won. We, like the world is already different as a result of that. So just just know that like, there's nothing here that you need to write down, you can, but like, there's nothing here that you need to, to hold on to. It's really about asking, it's not even about asking the question. It's about taking the ownership to create the environment around you, regardless of what it might look like around you. And we might have to come to another conversation about having the courage to step into it, but I wanna make sure that we're calling this out. Today, we're, we're gonna be talking to Jonathan and Jamin and uh, before we hit record here today, um, I recognized as soon as I saw them, I'm like, oh, I know what my priority in this conversation is. My priority is to serve you and be present. And as soon as the words came out of my mouth, I knew that I had told a lie. I knew I had told a lie because it is, they, those actually are my second and third priorities for this conversation. But my number one priority was to make sure that the two of them two amazing people in my life got a chance to actually connect and, and build a build the start of what could be a relationship, however that ends up being over time. So before we even got came on this call, the space that I created was one where they got a chance to go and spend some time alone in a breakout room and just talk about whatever they needed to talk about. I don't even know. It's not, it's not, it, it may or may not even be relevant for this conversation, but it was an intentional element of that. We all are in meetings that are taking place online. And so that's how much, how often are we taking the time to actually craft and create the space for the deep, meaningful, powerful, and transformational conversations that this world is craving for? This is not a world of status quo. This is not a world of certainty. This is a world of uncertainty. And your ability to create those spaces is something that is a tool that I want to make sure that you know it's at your disposal. We're going to continue with that space creation here. And this is, um, I'm, I'm entering this year. I'm now like just coming into this space with you, Jonathan and Jamin. Um, I can feel myself just like settling into it. But there's still more space creation that I want to do uh, with, with both of you. And it's just through the lens of just a few agreements here. And I'm deliberately making these agreements here so that we can, we can, spend some time up front and then use that to allow us to go even deeper in our conversations. I've had life-changing conversations in three minutes, so I'm not uh, like, but it's about how do, how do we prepare the space for it, mm -hmm. So the first thing here is that I'd like to enter into an agreement with you, right? Into agreements with you. The way that this works is that you can say yes or no to anything that I have uh, up, up here. And if it's a no, that's fine with me. 
like we either will drop it or we'll find a way to make it so such that we such that it can work but i want to make sure that we know what we are co-creating this space together all right and then we'll go off and, and continue playing to see what what needs to be served in this space all right so the first thing the first thing is, is for me to make sure i'm showing up for you i'm gonna hide nothing and hold nothing back from either of you in this conversation are you good with that Awesome. I am seeing yes. Sis. The second thing is that I am here to serve you and not please you. I like like I, I like each of you individually, and we we have we have a long relationship. And in this space here, I'm coming here from the place of, of putting everything on the line in order to really serve you powerfully. Are you good with me showing up? Are you good? Are you good with being served rather than pleased? In agreement with that. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, the third thing here, and it, 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 I realized this after a conversation I had earlier, I'm like, this just needs to just stay in the conversation. I have a track record of having life changing conversations. And at this point in my life, I honestly refuse to have anything less than that. I'm actually in a place right now where I am, I'm stepping into my edge and my edge is to start having world changing conversations. And uh, for me, the it doesn't need to change the world, but as long as it changes your world, like we're we're having we're having the right kind of conversation. So, are you open to this being a world changing conversation on whatever scale that that applies to you? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. The fourth thing for this conversation then is is that I'm going to lead, but you're in control. I'm going to lead, but you're in control. What that means here is that I'm going to ask the questions that feel that feel right to me. I'll play around with the format and structure and so on and so forth. But how you decide to engage is completely up to you. You can take us to a place where we need to with different questions. You can uh, dissent is one of my favorite things. The power of no is so beautiful. Mm. Like if there's something that needs to be said, bring it in. And then I also get a chance to play with that too. Right? But I'm going to lead. I'm going to lead, but you're in control. Any questions on that one? Just want to make sure we're good on that one. We're good. Okay, cool. Is that something that you agree to? Yeah. All right, cool. I'm seeing yes. To and then the last one here, to to especially with the with the two of you and the people who uh, I got to spend my time to with. I want to create. Uh, I want to invite you to a place I call the brag zone. And in the brag zone, uh, it's a it's a wonderful it's a wonderful space where. Um, you can never get too big. You can never get too messy. You don't have to worry about coming off as arrogant. And please don't spend time and energy worried about am I being humble. This is your place to to actually own your accomplishments and to to really speak out your true aspirations, dreams, and desires. So that we're not playing in the middle ground as to what feels comfortable, but we're all able to go out to our edge, the edge of our comfort zone and the edge of possibility. That's the only place I choose to play. So the way I'll phrase this one here is, are you comfortable being uncomfortable in the brag zone? Any questions on that? I right, see a thumbs up there. All right. Wonderful. I wanted to create. I wanted to create this year. I didn't want us to just default into it. You two know me, but at the same time, I, I want to make sure we're creating what what we have for ourselves in this space. And we were practicing it even before we hit record. We were creating our own agreements here. So uh, I'm I'm really thrilled for for what we'll, we'll have together. So uh, for me here, I'm in the space where I would love to spend time uh, coaching and really supporting you all. I, I, I had stopped using the word coaching for a while because at the end of the day, I was just like, I just need to serve. And as long as I'm in conversation with people, the experience will, will, will serve to whatever it needs to be served to. What I like to see here is to, is to spend some time just really quickly. I'm going to ask both of you here, Jonathan and Jamin, um, I'm going to ask you both a question. I just want to just kind of just get an idea as to what's, what's on your mind. And then I'll see how, how I choose to play from there. All right. So, Jamin, let's start with you. Um, for you, what would make this a world changing conversation for you? Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, I'm at an inflection point 
of my uh, contribution and service through being a leadership coach. And um, my, my background has had no, um, it's, had, it's had a number of trainings, it's had, an, it's had all this different kind of input and experiences, but I feel like I'm really ready to dedicate myself to a particular, dis- like really owning and honouring a particular discipline or form of, um, of training and transformation. And right now what I'm lacking is, is real clarity on like what direction that is. Like it just feels like there's just this infinite sphere of like ways in which I can develop skill sets to transform people's lives and in turn transform my own. And I just don't even know where to bloody start with that. Um, no Knowing that like I've been really good, that good to great is actually going to require some really deep and immersive um, training and coaching and being led by those who have come before me. And I'm just kind of like, <laughs> it's just, that's a whole world. And I just, and I kind of don't know where to first, like, I don't want to dip my toe in. I actually want to go all in, <laughs> but I don't know what part of the ledge to jump in from. So what would be world changing for me would be to have like clarity on that or like, the next action to take to be able to bring that into my, my, my experience of 2021 is actually what I've created. Fantastic. Thank you, Jamie, for bringing that in. I have a follow-up for you. You good with that? Yeah, let's do it. Um, there were some, there were some elements in here that, um, that I, I, I got really curious about. One of them was uh, you said from good, from good to great. I'm like, I've experienced you, my friend. I know what you've done. I know what you're building. I know how you show up. I know like, like you've already passed. If you're looking for the good to great <laughs> element here, we're going to spend a long time on it because you're saying it like it's ahead of you and it's already yeah. behind you. Right. Yeah. So, so if, if you owned right now that you're already playing at the level great, like what would really serve you here? And I need to ask that question here because I, I, I want to make sure that I'm really seeing you and serving you, mm-hmm. showing you fully. Mm, yeah, cool, man. Yeah, dude. I mean, yeah, I'm great. I'm great. I'm doing really great work. Um, yeah, man. I mean, as far as like, as far as what would be world changing, it might like my capacity to sell my leadership program at fifty thousand dollars would be that. Like, that would be that would be world changing. Okay. All right. Great. So let's 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 bring that in. And I'm all I still hear I hear what's behind the question that you asked. I'm not I'm not losing that there. Um, uh, but I also want to really just just make sure that, that we're not that I'm really seeing you. All right. So your capacity to enroll for your leadership program at fifty thousand dollars a person. You got it. All right. Wonderful. Jonathan, how about you? What would make this a world-changing conversation for you? So I'm actually, interestingly, also at an inflection point, a number of inflection points um, right now. So, you know, personally, um, I started a, you know, relationship, romantic relationship earlier this year, which, um, you know, has turned into a long-distance relationship, and 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 appears will remain that way um, for the foreseeable future um, until maybe next summer. And so, you know, I'm I'm navigating that. You know, I'm trying to figure out if you know this is something that I, uh, you know, this, this is the person I want to be with kind of forever. And 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 like stick with this not ideal long distance situation. Um, and then professionally. Um, you know, I am in the process of uh, of finding new or like, you know, interviewing for new positions internally um, within my organization, um, which, you know, those those jobs would start um, next summer um, or, or next or, or in the fall. Um, and then in addition, you know, I'm also thinking about um, possible external moves. Um, so, you know, do I want to look elsewhere. So I, I'm really, you know, there's, there's a lot of kind of uncertainty right now um, in my life. And, and I guess, you know, for this to be world changing, you know, if I came away from this with like certainty, let's say about, you know, what I wanted to do with this romantic relationship, you know, that, that would be, um, that would be world changing. You know, that'd be big. Um, so, yeah. 
Yay. Oh, we're going to play today. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. We're going to change, change a couple of lives in 30 minutes. This is, this is, this is a fun day here. Um, let me just take, take a quick note here so I don't lose it. Okay. Awesome. So let's play this way. Um, Jamin, why don't we start off here? Uh, I'll, I'll start off with starting by focusing on you here. Jonathan, uh, what I'm going to invite you to here is the, the way that I, I do coaching is that um, anytime I'm focusing on one person, and this will go back to you, Jamin, when I go to Jonathan, I'm focusing on one person. I'm actually focusing on everyone, right? So my invitation is to is to to engage to see how this might apply to you. See, you know, there's many different ways you can see how it might apply to you. See how, like, how is Niyama creating the space for, for these things? There may be questions that, that I asked that might be really applicable to you as, as you're going down your journey. And then we'll, we'll check in and we'll, we'll go on from there. All right. Awesome. And if there's any questions that you have for Jamin too, like take note of it, take note, take note of what you find yourself curious about here. We may or may not have time to do it in this conversation, but like it might, it would still probably serve as well. So I'm going to make sure we do that. All right, Jamin, my friend, um, tell me more, like let's, let's, let's bring ourselves into this here. Right. Thank you for bringing this in. Uh, the capacity to enroll 50k clients into into your uh, into your program, um, the word capacity is is what I get most curious about here, uh, and 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 I am actually like I find myself wanting to challenge it, but I don't know if I need to yet. So when you say capacity for that, tell me tell me about what that means to you. Yeah, it's the um, it's it's being able to back it's being able to back myself in the value of the transformation that I facilitate for other people through the process and the program that Jen and I have created with mountains and marathons. Um, and so it's, it's not, just, and in addition to that, it's also the, um, the, the, yeah, it's like the getting out of whatever is in the way of me being able to have that kind of transformative conversation with the people who can afford that kind, like this kind of investment, you know, because I get the work that we do. I know the transformative impact. And yet I also know that there's a whole new um, level of, of influential and powerful people who once um, have been through and experienced like the work that we do um, like the world will change, their world will change, their communities will change. And so it's kind of like I'm working with a certain level of people right now and I know that they level up, um, you know, not to say that the investment piece is the direct correlation, but there is an element of that as far as those who are the movers and shakers in our communities and our worlds um, are the ones who have resources. Um, and so I'm kind of, I'm inspired to take things to the next level in that regard and be the kind of person who can impact those people and also request those kinds of figures um, in service of my own personal expansion. Wonderful. All right, so let's play this out. It's actually really interesting, Damon. I, I'm, uh, I recently in, increased my baseline one-on-one -on -one rates for, an, uh, for a year working with me to uh, 50K myself. So this is a place that I'm also in exploration of, something that I've been, been, uh, been playing with uh, as well. Um, and I, I think, I think I'm, I'm going to be in this, this conversation with you around this here. So if I, the, the thing that comes to mind, I'm just going to go straight to the, the question that that's on my mind right now, which is, um, firstly, like we, we mentioned a group, let's, for this conversation here, look at just like one person, it could be one specific person or like just one, one, I read that, but if we can get one person, if we can get you with one person, we can do, that's just, that's multiplying, right? We get the zero to one and then it's one to infinity from there. Right. Yeah. Are you good? All right, cool. So that just, just to put ourselves even in that mindset of just like actually one person, right? Um, question for you. Do you see, do you have like, is there like one person that comes to mind that that's already in your world where you're like, actually for what you're doing next, playing with me and being in a space with other leaders who are on their own transformational journey and uh, 
do you see someone like that already for you? Just want to check in. Yeah, so I, I I do. I see the um, I see the the the, I'll call it like the the community of people. I don't know I don't know many in that community, but I know the community of people that I want to serve. Okay, so you know can, one person in that community. Yes. Okay. All right. So let uh, like so so I, and I'm I'm choosing to really focus in on one because I hear I hear like I, I get your power and I get I get the community element of this all here and I've got one yep. okay you've got one okay yep. all right wonderful right so starting with that one there right and just just taking it to that to that level here when it comes to to the element of your capacity to enroll this person here tell me a little bit about what like what feels true to you in this moment about that one person that comes to mind related to that. Cool. So what, what feels true for me in yeah. my, in, in relation to my enrollment of that person to, to work with them or to have them work with me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, what feels true for me is a strong foundation of trust and rapport. Um, what feels true for me is uh an intimidation um me to them uh what feels true for me is an assumption of knowing what's going on for them but not a knowingness of what's really going on for them and what their world is like um What feels true for me is an apprehension to uh, be in an enrollment conversation with that person for a, uh, a fear of it not going in the direction that I want it to go. What else? What else is true for you? Uh, what's true for me is I know I can make a difference, um, that I know my coaching would be the process and the coaching would be transformative. It would have ripple effects um, and it would open up remarkable opportunity. It could open up remarkable opportunities for um, working with similar people. Um, yeah. Okay. So firstly, thank you for sharing that with me here, right? Um, I, I haven't, I haven't, I'm going to put in this here as an, as an invitation as this goes along here, but like the invitation of sharing what is true to you along this part of this journey. Like I, like I can feel right now that you're in a place of like, I'm creating myself into, into this year. And a part of me is like, I'm like, yeah, the, like, and so there's an element here of this, like, I, I, I wanted to hear what's true for you to make sure that these aren't the things that, um, that, that interrupt your ability to actually just be present and serve. So mm -hmm. to whatever extent that, that it, it, in surface in some of these things, to whatever extent it, it would serve to either create spaces such that this, that this can be expressed or mm -hmm. however else needs to be there, I wanna make sure that we're, we're bringing that out to light first and foremost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I hear you on so many of these things and, and the the two that the two that felt like um, that I like I felt some energy within me, um, which makes me a little curious about, uh, was the assumption of what's going on for them. You have some assumptions around around that, uh, and then the apprehension of being in that conversation. You know, all together. So here goes my my general premise when it comes to enrolling anyone for any any amount. All right, which is it's it's not about what the dollar amount is. All right, what what I hear from you when you tell me that you're looking to enroll uh, someone at, at at a 50k level here, I'm like, oh okay. So Jamin is looking to to be in a space where he's playing with people who are who have a vision, have an, have a have a project, have something in in mind that will bring that is like on the scale that will bring back at least. 500k a half million dollars uh either back to them or like that is created out 
uh, through that. To me, that's just like a filter for the the vision that they themselves have. Like, and and sometimes that's five hundred dollars physical dollars, but like the worth of that experience of them. I use ten x as a multiplier. Uh, that's what's happening here. Um, but like, so I get I get I get more curious about like the the um, the types of visions that you are uh, pulling out from people, the types of projects that you're choosing to work work towards, the the types of when you talked about the assumptions of what's really going on for them, you know, being in those spaces there where where the level of vision is um, on the level with with that level of of investment. At least looking at it for a sustained period of time. I think there, there are people who might come in one off and, and such, but for a sustained period of time, um, especially if you're looking at a group or a community of that, there, making sure that the lo- that the level of that is is in in par. Before I go forward, let me just check in with you. How does that resonate? Does, does that land? Does it not land? Like I'm, I'd be curious. Yeah, um, yeah, no, it's um, it's actually not that. It's not that because the community of people who I really want to serve and the specific individual I'm thinking of um, is the next generation of wealth inheritors. So the kids, the, the, the children of the philanthropists, right? And these are often people who are in a place where a lot of just been, a lot has been given to them. And inside of that, they may not actually be deeply connected to their vision their purpose, their capacity to really leverage their um, resources and their influence to kind to create the kind of future that, you know, that's inspiring for our community. And um, what I've observed is there can often be a lostness inside um, this community of people. So when I talk about like what's really going on for them, there's assumption inside of that because I'm not in these kinds of conversations with these people to really know what's going on, but I see it from the outside. And so, you know, just knowing the nature, like my zone of genius is presencing possibility for people and, you know, getting people deeply connected to passion and purpose and mission and just knowing that this community of people or this specific individual, like just clear and on path and you know connected to the difference they're out to make in the world like with the with who they are and the resources and the influence that they have the ripple effect that those people can have once on path and making clear conscious choices um, can really transpire and create some magic in the world so it's not necessarily about like the 10x as far as return on investment but it's more so like really getting one's shit together to then be able to create from that place of alignment and groundedness. And I would love to, I believe I can be a really a powerful conduit to giving those people access to that kind of clarity um, to then really go out and make the difference that they're born, that they're born to do and have the access to, to, to creating. From that place of belief right now, right? What are you feeling within you? Yeah, there's like a conviction. There's like a, it's like a, it's like, I got this. Yeah. I'm feeling that, Jamin. I'm feeling that right now. And so there's an element here that like, like I'm, 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 I'm watching myself as we walk this line around, like how do we enroll from this place? Because it, it, it felt to me like, like you yourself just spoke it out there. There was, it started out from like, I need to learn different skill set, go from good to great. So I can actually go ahead and serve, serve in that level. There's nothing that you just said to me that of the places that where you would actually serve them, that feels like any additional work is needed. Like, to be honest, like from a skill set and, and, and like compass, like it feels, it feels like from what, from your conviction and from what I know about you, that doesn't feel like the places where there's additional value added on, on, mm-hmm. on either end. And I also get that if you're in conversation, if you're in a relationship, if you know what, what, where the actual, what the actual pain points are and where, where the challenges are, you'll be able to then know exactly what the next right thing is for you. There's an element right now where it feels like you're a little bit too far outside um, mm. to, to have that clarity, to be able to say like, oh, okay, clearly this is what's happening. I wasn't able to show up in the way that I wanted to, or for where, for where we're going, I, I want even more because this person is 90% there, but it's, I need that next 10%. So yeah, like I see, yeah. I see you smiling here. Tell me what's going on inside before I go on. Yeah, what's going on, man? Is like I, I and I'm I'm open to other suggestions, but I'm just like 
I've just got to have a call with this person. That's like, it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like really, you know, cause it, what I, well, like what I got connected to then was, was exactly what you just said, which is like, I've got, I've, I've got everything. I've got everything. And I've got the level of knowingness that, like what I, you know, who I am and how I be and how I'd show up inside of that conversation. Like nothing needs to be added. It's just me being present, being curious and then being there in service and, um, and, and like questioning those assumptions. We're just getting into their world. Um, that's all, that's all, man. That's all. So, so like, so like, let's, let's just call that out for, for that. And then this is why I, I chose to go down the path of one. Because mm. it, it, it's, it's a lot harder when we're thinking about how are we going to do this on, on all the skills. But when you're making a 50K investment, like that's happening one person at a time. And then it's the next person at a time. So like, so from that, again, from those, that, that standpoint, I'm like, oh, you, you, you already got that. You already have that part. Yeah. Awesome. There's, um, at, we can talk to, uh, the, uh, the only other thing that came to mind here was just that element we said, like the next generation of, um, and when you said the next generation, I know that I've been in, in spaces and with people who help people who have like generational wealth or like, you know, they're, it's the third generation within the business, you know, so on and so forth. And there are some really like each generation, if that's, if that's part of where you're looking at there are some different challenges that and things that they're navigating within the family structure not necessarily the uh the project structure or the the business structure but within their relationship within their family which is its own entity that, uh, that where they have to navigate that um that also comes into play so if there is work that you're looking to do in the generational element um i think more than anything else it's it's with that one individual and uh, to, the, to the extent that there is other work around that where you are able to do some research and see what are some of the challenges that that um, that work generation by generation, relationship by relationship, so on and so forth, uh, so, that, so that you have more insight into helping them tap into, because I'm hearing what you're saying, like, like there may be a bit of that path themselves that that may be difficult to navigate um, or to help them bring to, to get them there. Um, that's a that's another place that struck me as a potential as a potentiality whether or not it's going to get the like like it feels it feels you have the the the, the surest path is just through the presence with that one person and being there for them bring what you have and then the other side of it too it, like is that let me just check in with is that um is, when you're talking about generations is that some of where, where you're at with it yeah no that's what what you just spoke into then is exactly it yeah okay okay so i i i i think i'll just presence that here I'll like happy to have other conversations, happy to connect you with uh, other people who've, who've been involved, deeply involved in this, this that, uh, that world uh, to help you see how you can show up powerfully. Cause I, I think, I think you're absolutely right in terms of the, re the, the ripple of, of XR as it applies to a larger group of people. But for yeah. like one person, I think you have what you need. Amazing, man. Great. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. So let's connect offline about that. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Jamin. Mm. So let's go over here a little bit to, uh, to Jonathan. Jonathan, um, hi, firstly, it's good to see you. Hello. Um, good to see you, man. What is one, uh, I, I like to like, just let me, let me, let me check in with you before we ask a, a new question of you. Uh, what is one insight, takeaway or question uh, that has come up for you as a result of any part of our time here together. Um, it might've been through what Jamin said, it might've been before we even hit record, but like what's, what's one insight, takeaway or question that's, that, um, that you're playing with right now? Um, well, I like the way that, uh, you know, Jamin has a great sense of um, the clientele that he's looking for. You know, I think that, uh, um, in, in uh, you know, my line of work, which has to do, which is in, in public relations, um, you know, one thing that we always talk about is know your audience, okay? So, you know, who are you looking to engage? Um, and uh, that is, that's step one to influencing them, is to understand them. Um, and so- I'm gonna ask a quick question with this really quickly, Jonathan, I hear you. Um, part of what I wanted to see here is, what's the application of that or something else? to you. I think that that's really 
that's what I want to understand here uh, for you. Like what's been what's been something that's impacted you as, as a result of this conversation? Well, um, so to, you know, to shift uh, to the, you know, romantic relationship that I discussed earlier. So, um, you know, a few years ago, uh, this New York Times article came out. It was like, ask these 36 questions to fall in love with someone. Okay. And uh, it was actually, it was 36 questions developed by some scientists. Um, and uh, supposedly, you know, he got these two people to fall in love um, in, a, in a laboratory um, and they went on to get married and that. And so the questions, uh, it's three sets of 12 questions and uh, it, um, and, you know, each set is kind of like more intimate than, than the one before. Um, and, and they're, so they're kind of like interesting question, just, uh, you know, different ways that you can get to know the person, understand kind of deep things about them. So I say all this um, to say that, uh, you know, my, my girlfriend and I, you know, we actually did over Zoom, you know, the first set of these questions. And I, you know, I was struck, first of all, it, it's really effective. You know, you, you do like kind of develop a deeper bond, you know, by, by, uh, responding to these questions and, and listening, you know, to the other person's answer. But, um, but I, I was also struck that, you know, despite our like months of zoom calls and this and that, you know, maybe I don't know this person um, as well as I should, um, or as well as I would like to. Um, and, uh, and so that is, is kind of a takeaway from what Jamin said, you know, is, is maybe, you know, I need to kind of be purposeful um, in, you know, getting deeper um, with with my girlfriend, right? Because because I, I you know I think it's easy to you know to just kind of like I you know what and what happened yesterday and what you do and how'd you feel about it and this and that um, you know without having those more deep conversations um, and so um, so so that that's something that I you know that I thought about that I took away. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you for thank you for for bringing that in here. Um, so I'm seeing you, and I'm and like I really just see the amount of heart that you're bringing to this relationship, the amount of sincerity that you're bringing to this year, and I and I can feel I can feel uh, I can feel you in this year and in, in the way at least when it comes to relationship. I'm having a little bit of a hard time articulating, but just I, I think it's because it's a feeling that I'm getting not a, not a logical element so just just know that that i that i'm seeing you there i appreciate i appreciate you for that all right thanks so absolutely so let's see see for you here um you had brought up like no let me ask you let me ask two things firstly are you complete when it comes to the relationship element is there still anything that, that we would need to explore do you feel like actually with this insight like i feel good to i feel good on what my next step would be i i can see that with more um i don't know if it was clarity for you uh there, there's a word that you used um earlier but like like i'm just let me just ask you is that do you feel complete on that is there more to explore with that that, that'll be meaningful for you more certainty is um, so uh, what was the last thing you said oh i was saying i was saying like do you like like do you feel complete when it comes to the relationship element? Do you feel like you have what you need to have more certainty on that? Or is there some, is that something you'd like to explore even further? And I, and I got you back if so. Um, no, I mean, I, I think I, you know, I think ultimately like it's just about embracing the uncertainty um, that I, you know, I, 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 I don't know, like I'm not going to feel certain about this person, I think until, you know, we have a chance to be together physically know, for a while. Um, and, and so, you know, until then, you know, there, there's like work that can be done, you know, I can, whatever, you know, get to know her better and, and, and deeper, more importantly. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I think, uh, to, you know, the part of it is just going to be, um, there is not an answer at this moment. Um, and, and that, that is what it is. Awesome. Um, say awesome, because I, I like, I actually feel some levity now in the conversation because there, 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 there was. I'm like, how do we bring it to a place where, like, uh, if, if we're looking for certainty, like, I, don't, I think the whole world is looking for that in different ways. And so, um, 
that 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 feels that feels there's some levity I feel right now it feels like like lighter in, in how we can navigate this. You know what was coming up for me when, when you were sharing uh, earlier here, and I'll be really like we'll wrap up our conversation here. I do want to like be mindful of time. I'm, I'm looking at that. I can go up to like three minutes past the hour, um, but like I, I do want to just like wrap up here. There's an element here in the in the space of not looking for certainty um, that opens up something even more marvelous, uh, and that to me is possibility. The num like so the during this time here, a lot of people are using uncertainty like it is like the the latest NSYNC track. I'm an NSYNC person, not a not a Backstreet Boy person, although I've ca caught up with them, right? But with that, with the element of of almost like tossing things to uncertainty, right? Like if 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 it does if it, if we don't know, we're gonna put in the uncertain bucket, and what can I do about it? It's all uncertain, right? And what I've found is that there's a different group of people who are actually taking this time and being intentional with it. The way I look at it is like there's uncertainty, but with that our systems are, are uncertain, our like the approaches that we have are uncertain, the, the way things have been are uncertain. To me, that's malleable. Like there's an element of this here that is like, it's, it's almost as though it's like we had frozen Play-Doh that has now started to be able, like given itself room to be shaped again. And so I'm going to leave you in this space here, especially with you being in the, like this element, of like I can't really know. I get, I would leave you in the space of possibility. What would you love to create? Given that it's uncertain, that means that like things are open. It's up. For, it's like there there are things that are up for grabs here. What would you love to create? I'm hearing I'm hearing some things around even just the way that you, the fact that you're like I want to really get to know this person tells me some of what it is in terms of what you really want to create in a relationship and i would look to i would look to spend some time focused on that to say regardless of how the chips actually fall when we when we get to be in the same place or whatever it is here this is what relationship is for me this is what i would love to create this is how like like and to spend your time cultivating that such that like whatever else makes sense when it makes sense to like plays itself out. I'm reminded for some reason right now of uh, my wife, Nicole, you, you know her. Um, I met her and within six months of me meeting her, she said, I want to go and travel uh, and go work out of Brazil. I'm applying for a job that's going to happen in Brazil. Uh, and like we were dating for six months. And I remember like when she brought it up, I was like, cool, like, I don't even know like where our relationship is going to be like it, it went like when you get that why don't we get to that part when we get there let's focus on seeing do we even like each other enough to like to see if it makes sense to have to worry about anything about uh, any kind of travel turns out we liked each other enough that i moved out to singapore with her uh several years later we're about to have our first child any any uh, any minute now um but there, there's that element here of like creating what you want and maximizing what you have access to right now, such that when the decision becomes and it's actually clear for you, a clear yes or a clear no, you're you you're in the place of integrity around that. How does that feel to you? Feels good. Yeah. Well, I, I I want to I'm gonna we're gonna bring this conversation to a close here. Uh, I'm gonna I have this thing that I do which is called a transition time. I feel like in the world of Zoom, we hang up the phone and we're instantly somewhere else. Back in the day, you would go to your next, like, you know, if you're in class, you would go to your next class, you'd pack up your book bag, all that stuff. So I'm going to stick around for about five minutes afterwards and just, like, transition out with anyone that wants to stay. Um, but just know that I appreciate you. I, I see you all here. Um, and I'm, I'm glad that you all are getting to know each other because that is the foundation of everything else that's going to come from, from here. Thank you both for trusting me. Thank you for honoring me. And thank you for, for being the people that you are. It's a pleasure to be, to be in space with you. Thank you, man. Hey, Oniyama here. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet, and then go ahead and leave one of your insights from today's video in the comments below. If you're looking to take this deeper, you can go and watch another video, or you can go to niyama.com slash tribe to get exclusive invitation to our tribe member-only events. I'll see you soon.